Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, I am The Crafty Author. Welcome to my quilting studio. I thought we would do something kind of fun today. I wanna to show you these baby gifts that I've been working on for a baby shower. And I have got to tell you that my eyes are just like whacking out right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you. Now, as you know, last week we did the, um, we finished up the baby quilt. So I have it all ready to packaged and ready to go. But this was the quilt that we had made and it's backed with Minky and super cute. And I'll link to it down below so you can check that out in case you're interested. But it turned out really, really adorable. So then of course I thought, well, let's do something else. And so let me show you what I made and it's adorable um, and it was a lot of work and it took me forever because there was lots of hand sewing involved in this and I do not do hand sewing very well. So without further ado, here she is. Isn't she cute? <laughs> so this is a little koala bear and I put, um, this is a little tutu that I had made but I put these little flowers and turned it into a little dress super cute. I put Minky on the bottom of her feet and I put little bows in her by her ears. And I think she is absolutely adorable. And I did go ahead and sew her mouth on there because this is for an infant. So, you know, I don't want the baby to choke. Um, everything is sewn on. The bows are sewn on. The ears are sewn on. The nose. Um, the eyes have the safety eyes, just in case you're wondering but I think she's adorbs. So she matches her quilt, same fabric. I had some fabric left over and so I, I used it. These are just pom-poms. They're super cute. And I used a doll needle to attach these little pom-poms because woo -wee, those were tough. <laughs> so I think she's adorable. Um, then I'll show you what else I'm going to be sending in this goodie box for this baby. I'm excited. I love babies. I love to spoil babies. It's, it's so much fun. So, all right. So every baby needs a mini mouse burp or, um, it's not a burp cloth. <laughs> it's a baby bib. <laughs> Um, I made this a while back, but you know, I thought, wow, this would be a great time to send this off. It's backed with terry cloth and the front is cotton. And so I think that will be very, very sweet and cute. And then this one is another little bib. And this is just a flannel bib. So these are really good for like when they're drooling and things and you don't want to mess up their clothes. Those turn out really nice. So. And then last but not least for the baby shower gifts is this really pretty cute little receiving blanket that I made. And um, so it's the little owls on there. I used some of my stash that I had to make this. And so I'm starting to go through all my stash now in my quilting room. So it's probably going to all get deplenished and then I'll have to go shopping and buy more. So anyway, so that is what I have for the baby gift. And I really hope she likes it because um, it was a lot of work. This was a lot of work. This was a lot of work. <laughs> I almost want to keep her for myself because it was so much work, but I can't, you know, I'm going to have to send her back to where she belongs. So anyway. And then I wanted to give you an update on the long arm machine. And oh my goodness. Actually, I'll give you the long arm machine update after. We'll just talk about this one real fast. I got this fabric, this Barbie fabric from um, Fat Quarter Shop a while back, or was it Missouri Star? I don't remember. It's a Riley Blake design and it's all Barbie fabric. 
and it's Malibu Barbie is what it is. And I really, really love this fabric. Um, I love it so much that I'm actually going to patch the holes in my jeans with this. And I am also going to make a tote bag out of this. So um, I don't know which fabrics I'm gonna use yet for the tote bag, but this will be Tuesday's tutorial. And then also, I wanted to share with the share this with you. Um, Dime sent me some so any shape foam, so thank you, Dime. And I am going to be using this to make the tote bag. And I'm going to be going to Mexico in no in October, and so I'm thinking that this would be the perfect travel bag for me to have. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. So if you are interested in doing that along with me, then you're gonna to wanna to get yourself some fat quarters, um, you know, one or two, or just whatever fabric that you like. You can use yardage as well. And we're going to make something out of it. So that is that. Okay, now I'll give you the long arm update. Oh my goodness. Oh, and yes, I cut all my hair off and my hair is purple. It's blonde and purple. And it's really crazy because um, a lot of the my natural red hi highlights, my, my real color in my hair, um, is poking through. <laughs> so it's different. I'm trying to get used to it and I'm not sure quite how I feel about it yet. It reminds me of peanut butter and jelly hair, but you know. So anyway, um, so yes, if you were wondering if I cut all my hair off, yes, I did. And um, I did I did put purple and blonde in it last night. I just got it done. Um, and it's funny because I really wasn't gonna go this short with my hair. I was I was gonna keep it a little bit longer for a longer A line. And when I was sitting in the chair, I was just like, just cut it all off just cut it off. I don't even care anymore. Um, and I love this style because it takes me literally 10 minutes from start to finish in the mornings, from wet hair to dry hair, 10 minutes, fully styled and everything. And it looks like I did something with my hair. <laughs> I didn't have to do much. <laughs> so I really like that. So those ponytails that I would make took me way longer. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. Okay, so the pattern for the little koala bear, because I know you guys are gonna ask me, it's called Banjo and Blue, and it's by Jody Carlton, and she is at Rick Rack Sews on Etsy, and also on Instagram, so you might wanna check her out, because she makes the cutest little stuffed animals. As a matter of fact, the little elephants that I've made in the past, and I did a tutorial on that as well, um, she designed that pattern too. So this is what it looks like. It's all digital download. So if you're interested in doing it, then check out her Etsy store. That's again, Rick Rack Sews. So the long arm debacle. I was supposed to have it probably already. And I called to check on it and they said that it was on back order again for another three additional weeks. So that was putting it out six weeks. And for me, that's cutting it very, very close because I have two wedding quilts that I have to make. And I actually want to make those with you guys and then take you through the whole long arm process. It's gonna be a learning process for both of us because I, all I really know how to do on a long arm that I'm pretty good at is swirls. And that's really about it. Um, I have the ruler table and the ruler I have some rulers that I purchased and those may work too. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure how we'll quilt it yet, but we are going to be making a hunter star. It's going to be a lap sized quilt. Um, and it is made from the colors of my niece's wedding. I'll just tell you that now. Um, cause she's getting married in April. <laughs> so we're, I'm, I'm really behind. And so I'm going to really have to get this going. Um, I will tell you that I will be using an AccuQuilt to cut the Hunter Star. 
um, because I have that die. If you don't have a die, then you will need to get yourself a, um, a template, a Hunter Star template, so that you can sew along as well if you plan on doing this with us. Um, so I ended up going to my local quilting store that I normally go to anyway. Yesterday I checked it out. They had a they had a pretty good sale going on, and they had a they had a long arm machine there that I ended up purchasing from them, and it's a it's a 16 inch handy quilter sweet 16. It's the new model, um, and a 10 foot frame for my put my um, long arm machine on. And so I'm really excited to get it. But I probably won't be able to pick it up until Tuesday or Wednesday. So <laughs> I will have to drive to the warehouse to pick it up. So, I mean, I'm still waiting, but, and I'm so impatient, you know, I just don't have very many patients. Like, I like want it right now. And that's just not happening. So that is the update on the long arm. And so, you know, I'm just waiting, but once I get it, oh, let me tell you, I will show you. I might even take you on a field trip down to the warehouse. You know what? If you would like a field trip down to the warehouse to pick it up, let me know down below in the comment section because I'm curious if you'd like to see how that gets loaded up. All right. So if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. I will link down in the description box as well to the banjo and blue pattern and also the dime. Um, so any shape foam. And I will try to find this Barbie fabric, but I can't promise you that. So um, please, please, please give this video a like and please make sure that you subscribe. You will get to see every time I upload an awesomely cool new video and we are on our way to 50,000. Um, I finally hit 39,000 so I want to thank you all for that and so my next goal is to hit 50,000 by my birthday in April and I know we can totally do it. So that's it for me today. Keep on crafting. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.